entire career, I've only had one client, the people. And so, on behalf of the people, I accept your nomination to be President of the United States of America. Vice President Kamala Harris leading the Democratic ticket, capping off the four-day convention in Chicago. She laid out some of her priorities, the economy, including cutting taxes on the middle class and raising taxes on corporations and wealthy Americans, building alliances overseas and protecting reproductive rights. Harris called for unity. I promise to be a president for all Americans. You can always trust me to put country above party and self, to hold sacred America's fundamental principles. But as the Democrats push for change and unity, critics of Harris say she lacks a clear policy agenda. Former President Donald Trump calling her out for not addressing key issues like the southern border crisis during her time in office. She's compared ICE agents to the KKK. She wants to repeal the federal law that makes illegal immigration a crime, making illegal immigration totally legal. It's okay to come into our country. Well, meanwhile, former independent presidential candidate Robert Kennedy Jr. is suspending his race and says he will remove his name only from battleground states. Kennedy endorsed former President Donald Trump. Now, pollsters say Kennedy's action could have a big impact in swing states like Arizona, where the margin between the Democrats and the Republicans is extremely thin.